Day eight with the baby ruby red Swiss chard. Yes. Eight days to germinate. Um, I'm removing some of the excessive paper towel that I use to help germinate these seedlings. Just taking those off the top, getting rid of all of that. And I'm getting ready to check the um, check for the seeds or the seedlings. See how many is in each cup. You notice that it's not really that much. That's that's the way the harvest is with these um, with these seeds because the seeds are so big. Now I'm getting turning it over because I have to shake off all the seeds because these seeds for some reason like to just hang on to the plant. They don't want to let go. They don't want to continue and move on with their life. They want to stay on the plant. So you got to remove these, shake them out, or you're going to be eating when you harvest. You're going to be eating a rock uh, or pebbles, uh, a salad if you don't take them out. So it's your choice. But take them out, put them in there. Here's day 14. Um, they're growing, growing well, getting access to a lot of sun, not showing any deficiencies, and we're moving right along. And we're going now to day 20. Yeah, this is day 20. Um, you can see that these are not... They don't grow um, particularly fast. I mean, it doesn't look like as much of an increase from day 14 to day 20, but it's growing, though. It's like the tortoise in the race. It starts off slow, but it picks up in the end. Now this is the harvest day, day 28. You can see it grew. It grew. I mean, you know, it's not a hard, it's not a large bunch right here because the seeds are so large. It doesn't give a lot of room for a lot of seeds to germinate. So you can only fit a certain amount of seeds in a certain area. So this is the German, this is the harvest day right here. It, it looks nice. I mean, it's not that much. These are really used um, to complement salads. You add those in there to give, you know, give a salad some appeal, some color. People like color. So if you're someone selling at the farmer's market or something, you add some of this ruby red in there and give your um, your salad um, some, some appeal, some definitely some appeal. So now I'm gonna get ready to harvest this bad boy. Getting ready to harvest it. Um, Moving it up, just gonna cut from the top. Bam, that's all it is. Bam, look at that. Bam, right there. Leave some left on there. The plant still needs to um, conduct photosynthesis. And here we go, one week later, we're back in action. It's just the way it goes, we're back in action. The root mass is already large enough to support fast growth. This is an easy plant to grow, baby, ruby red, Swiss chard, Brooklyn St. Michael, the School of Aquaponics, toodles.